This video will cover the oscilloscope and its features in LinMod Talk. In the project tree, click on the oscilloscope, then select the default one. On the top toolbar, click the settings button. The four standard channels are already configured. The C1250 drive can handle up to eight channels while recording. Click on the trigger tab and set the trigger condition to set A. The oscilloscope will start recording once the motors move past five millimeters. We will then pre-trigger 5% to record data before our trigger condition is met. Click the start button for the oscilloscope to arm it. I will then go back to the control panel and run a time curve that I have stored on the drive. Once all the channels have been read, the info tab will pop up saying there's new data in the oscilloscope. You can then click the fit view with same units icon. The four channels that were recorded were actual position, demand position, difference position, and demand current. Clicking the min-max button gives you a quick overview of all eight channels. In the project tree, click the top level oscilloscope, then right click on the default one and hit duplicate. On the new oscilloscope, right click again and hit edit properties and we can change the name. Now we will add a new variable in our new oscilloscope. A quick way to do this is go to the variables tab in the project tree, right click on the one you want, and tell it which oscilloscope you want it to go to. Then select what channel it will be recorded on. You can also add these extra channels in the oscilloscope settings. We will then go back to our new oscilloscope. Since we copied our original, all the settings we've set up previously are stored in this one as well. We'll double check that our new channel has been added. We will arm the oscilloscope, return to the control panel, and run our curve. You can see in the lower left corner we're still reading our channels. In the oscilloscope toolbar, we will click channel 5 to add our max motor temperature. There are two cursors that you can drop and drag throughout the oscilloscope. Select the top level oscilloscope. Press and hold control while selecting both oscilloscopes. The compare icon will then illuminate and you can select if you want to have an offset or not between the two charts. Clicking OK then creates a new oscilloscope. If you click on the new oscilloscope, you will see that this drive has a capability of comparing eight channels total. Go back to the second oscilloscope we recorded. If you click on the display settings, you can change a set point style. You can change it from the default smooth line to the individual data points. Thank you for watching.